Hey everybody, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're here in Nashville at Jan's house. This is presented by our friends at Show X, which gives musicians control over their own ticketing. We're live right now with Sierra Farrell. Sierra, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Yeah, and Josie, thank you very much for being here as well. You sound tremendous together, and we're about to share a lot of your music with the internet right now. What's happening first? Well, we're going to do this tune that's going to be on the record that's going to be coming out. I'm not 100% sure on the date, so I don't want to give some false hope. Uh, but it'll be coming out sometime in the summer. And uh, this first tune I'm going to do is Bells of Every Chapel, which is going to be... Um, I'm going to have uh, Billy Strings is on it, so it's uh, kind of exciting. And here we go. It goes just like this. I swear the bells in every chapel will ring in the day that I met them. From high in the trees, birds be singing, singing of you. Wonderful together, and this is—I uh, mean, I can't wait for the uh, for the album to be out. There's, like you mentioned, Billy Strings is on it, who's obviously a, an incredible player. Jerry Douglas, another incredible player, who was here last night. Uh, can you talk about some of those collaborations? Yeah. Um, so Billy's gonna only be on that tune, unfortunately. So, but maybe, hopefully, in the future, we get to work more together. And um, uh, Jerry Douglas is gonna be because um, he's from West Virginia, so he did the West Virginia Waltz, I believe. Um, and also, uh, uh, there's Tim O'Brien's on some, and Sarah Jarose is on some. You know, I've got such, such I got to work with such wonderful players, and I feel really honored to nice. be in the mix. <laughs> Good. Well, I mean, we feel that same way. It's an honor to have you here on the porch for the for the three or four of us that are actually here in reality. But there's a great crowd tuned in right now on the internet. So, uh, so thank you for for sharing the music with us today. And there's a lot more of it. What's happening second? Uh, well, we've got this tune. It's not going to be on the next uh, record next coming record but it's going to be on the one after this summer hopefully 
Um, and this tune is called um, Why Haven't You Loved Me Yet? That sounded great, and there's uh, there's a lot of chances for for people to actually see you live. Uh, the tour dates are starting to be announced right now. I mm -hmm. saw you're on Del Fest Light on May 30th with uh, the killer. The Traveling McCurries are on that lineup, so that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> saw you're at High Sierra in July. Uh, how do you feel about gearing back up to get get back into uh, the normal real world? Well, I'm ready for it. I, you know, I know that um, things are still kind of questionable in, in lots of ways, but um, I'm just ready to get back out there and give 110 percent and uh, play some music <laughs> are there any any dates in particular any cities in particular that you're looking forward to um honestly just to go to any other city than nashville <laughs> right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice well thank you thank you again for being here out on the porch uh bird singing singing in the background um this is a total treat for us and there's we're only halfway through there's still a lot more music well, th this next tune that we're going to do for you is, um, is a tune I wrote with a good friend of mine. Uh, it's actually his mandolin tune, and I just loved it so much that I, you know, I wanted to write, a, write words to it and create a song. And so um, the song that we're going to do is called uh, The Whispering Waltz, and my friend who I wrote with is Oliver Bates Craven. And you should check out his stuff. He's, he's actually worked with a lot of other really good musicians. He's worked with Oliver Wood as well. And they've done some music together. So nice. he was just here yesterday on the deck. He was? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. His juju is still here. I can feel it. <laughs> so um, here is the Whispering Waltz. Cut it off. Okay, one. Yeah. 
tears down my cheeks How they flow Now you don't have to whisper I know The ashes of the letter The words she had wrote you I had burned till they were cold My love is eternal A flame never ending The tears down my cheeks How they flow Now you don't have to whisper too that's coming out this summer nice thank you um we uh, can we talk a little bit about the broad range of uh, of musical styles that have been interesting to you over the years or maybe stuff that's particularly interesting to you right now um i saw that um the pick your poison live stream on mandolin it was cool to see you move from honky tonk to calypso to jazz and just all over the map and it was awesome um, can you talk a little bit about some of those uh, that very broad range of styles yeah you know like um broad is different we all have like our own sort of styles and uh, that inspire us and uh, of people. And I feel like I've accumulated all those different type of styles of just the frequencies that stick with me with what I enjoy, you know. And like we all enjoy different things. And so like I just feel like those are definitely genres that kind of influence me and stick with me and I want to be involved in. So. Um, and I, I've always tried to put myself out there to play with as many people as possible. And I feel like, you know, also you get inspired by these people and they also leave their mark on you in a way. And, and in that sense, you kind of uh, take it and make it your own and just um, just play it and hope people like it. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's working right now. I mean, everybody, clearly everybody who's actually here in reality likes it very much. I, there's a great crowd tuned in right now, and so you're making a lot of people happy on the other side of these <laughs> lenses as well. So it's working, and uh, and we still got more music to share. What are you doing last today? Uh, we're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to do this Charlie Pride tune. Um, it's not exactly how he does it. We like to do it in a minor key, um, and it, this is Snake's Crawl at Night. Went into 
away When the sun goes down Then the snakes will play Thank you so much for coming and doing it, and uh, we'll we'll let you get going. You've got to go load in and play uh, play a real show for real people tonight. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be playing at the basement, the OG basement. Uh, there's a bunch of people playing. It's an outside event for people who are still very COVID uh, aware, and um, we play at uh, our sets at 5:30, I think. 5:30, but there's other great players. Yeah. It's a great lineup, and uh, we're just real thrilled and honored to be doing something. So, at the basement. Come hang out at the basement. <laughs> right. 